ఆనరబుల్ చీఫ్ మినిస్టర్ జగన్మోహన్ రెడ్డి గారు కిషన్ రెడ్డి గారు యూనియన్ క్యాబినెట్ మినిస్టర్ సీనియర్ అఫీషియల్స్ ఆఫ్ ద గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ మై ఫెలో ఇండస్ట్రియలిస్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ హు ఆర్ ఆన్ ద డయస్ ఆల్సో వేరియస్ డిగ్నిటరీస్ హూ కమ్ అక్రాస్ ఫ్రమ్ అక్రాస్ ద వరల్డ్ టు దిస్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఈవెంట్ ఐ ఫస్ట్ వాంటెడ్ టు థ్యాంక్ ద ఆనరబుల్ చీఫ్ మినిస్టర్ ఫార్ inviting me uh, to this very prestigious event uh, for the state uh, under his leadership the state has uh, grown from strength to strength in various sectors my colleagues from the industry have spoken including the pharmaceutical sector on how the state has been extremely good to us so uh, without spending to, uh, taking to without taking too much time i just probably want to touch upon one or two points especially on the life sciences sector of which pharmaceutical uh, industry is a very important component it's it's one of the best opportune times uh, for the pharmaceutical industry uh, currently overall if you see the indian pharmaceutical industry it's about 45 billion dollars at this point of time overall half split between exports and the domestic it has a potential to go almost up to 130 billion dollars by the year 2030 and in terms of taking advantage of this opportunity there are two factors playing in at this point of time Uh, one is clearly what we commonly keep hearing about china plus one strategy a lot of companies post covid are looking to diversify and india happens to be one such uh, country where they're very very keen because of obviously our history uh, in terms of uh, you know what we have done in pharmaceuticals especially on the api front and also along the value chain that's number one also with the recent uh, russia ukraine war has also uh, caused more and more companies Uh, to look at india as an op- uh, opportunity especially for the services point of view uh, there are several opportunities again present along the pharmaceutical chain which we can look at in this context i think the important thing especially for uh, most of the delegates who have visited is to look very closely at andhra pradesh as your investment destination because if you see the various things that are happening out my colleagues from the industry have also referred to this when it comes to ease of doing business when it comes to the infrastructure when it comes to the industry friendly nature of the government i think this is the best place to invest dr reddys as a company has been here since a very long time uh, in fact for the last 35 years uh, when we started as a company in 1984 uh, in hyderabad uh, my father at that point of time uh, the founder dr anjit reddy dar my father he was very clear that hyderabad is a landlocked city for the future of api manufacture because we started as an api manufacturing company he was very keen that we uh, look at a, a place and then he zeroed in on yzag so 1998 is when we started the first plant almost 35 years back and today it's almost about 500 acres of land that we have in pidi beam varam and also for, we are present in uh, the duwada acz here's where uh, we have set up almost five Uh, manufacturing uh, units of the finished dosage not just apis apis we have uh, two large facilities and we continue to invest uh, in this uh, state uh, this again like i said tremendous potential in front of us in what can be done uh, if i talk about ease of doing business i especially would uh, like to point out especially the regulatory uh, framework in this state uh we, because we also deal with regulatory agencies and that's that's exemplary in terms of very quick approvals in terms of being industry friendly and that's something we have gained also in terms of the administration uh, from the government all the approvals for most of the plants that we have put up that's that's very very uh, easy for us so in terms of the potential it offers in terms of the ease of doing business there is plenty that can be done i just wanted to close uh, not just about the opportunity that we have but in terms of taking our industry forward there is one thing which is about innovation so far we have done well in apis there is an opportunity now coming up on finished dosages there is a lot of movement that has taken place especially also investments coming in in andhra pradesh a lot of multinational companies have also set up here but then i think the real value moving from volume to value it will all come from innovation and that's where i think we again have a potential to lead uh, because we have an example of you know the medtech zone that's being created Uh, you know a lot of innovations come from there but especially for life sciences there's lots more potential that can come so for uh, innovation i'm sure again andhra can uh, show the way the last uh, point again i especially wanted to commend uh, chief minister jagannath reddy garu because not just about the industrial climate not just about the transformation of the state especially when it comes to social indicators on the education front and especially on the healthcare front 
Uh, we are extremely fortunate. I was just uh, uh, mentioning to the Honorable Chief Minister that all of us remember his father, the late Dr. Vaisar Garu, uh, Roy Stark Security Garu, for the tertiary health care, the Arugya Shri program that he uh, launched in the combined state of Andhra Pradesh, which benefited so many people, especially people from the poor sections who otherwise could not afford health care. In, in health care, I am sure from the programs that he has started and he is about to uh, launch, he can absolutely transform the remaining part of the health care, which I think is very, very crucial for the state, and set an example not only for Andhra Pradesh, but for the rest of the country in being the model health care system. That's all what we look forward to. So once again, I thank Honorable Chief Minister for inviting me here today. Thank you very much.